The second part in this process is the art creator. Why an artist creates art in the first place? This reason really varies and it has been a subject of debate for many centuries. And for a person not inspired to paint, a real question could be, why paint it at all? There is no easy answer for this. Inspiration and the hunger to consume the aesthetic beauty cannot be really defined. It is just there. Reinhold Messner, who is considered the greatest climber, was once asked, why do you want to climb the Everest? And he famously said, because it is there. My personal analysis is that the beauty moves you so much that you need to do something about it. And the easiest thing is to draw and paint it. And then, of course, share it with others. However, in neurosurgery, it could create another dimension for the purpose of drawing. And that is chronicling your findings and helping in research. The process of drawing gives you the opportunity to revisit the surgery very minutely because you have to draw the details without omission and with perfection. And this actually is a very powerful window for learning. When I am operating under high magnification and illumination of the modern neuromicroscope and endoscope, the entire attention is focused at the place of surgery, as if one is oblivious of the surroundings. But you are also not focused on other things the microscope is showing. I mean, along with the surroundings, you are also oblivious of certain things even the microscope is showing. Because your mind is sharply focused only at the area that matters. So when we see the surgery recordings after the surgery is over, many new things suddenly become apparent. We see so many new things in these recordings that one is amazed that so much more information was there, which you didn't even notice because at the time it was not relevant. All this, of course, because your attention was focused on the areas of dissection only. Also, while drawing, you can look at these recordings without the tension that you experience while you're actually performing the surgery. So this surgical tension is bearing heavily on your mind at the time of surgery. When you are looking at the recordings after the surgery is over, your mind is free in a more meditative state and without any time constraint. 